Honestly guys, this is a tough video to make. You probably already heard the news already that Apex Legends Mobile is shutting down. What the f***? So I was scrolling through Twitter last night and all of a sudden we got a tweet from the official Apex Mobile account saying that we have made the painful decision to sunset Apex Legends Mobile. As a result, the game will sunset and close on May the 1st, 2023, after which it will no longer be playable. Firstly, I want to actually apologize and my heart goes out to all of you players, content creators, everyone who has enjoyed this game, made content on this game and put their own hard-earned money into the game to buy skins battle passes the fact that they've just tweeted this and announced it out of the blue is really poor i had a lot of respect for ea and respawn for bringing such a big triple a game to the mobile platform the game had so much potential and in my opinion it was easily the best battle royale on mobile from movement to graphics it just felt amazing so three years ago i made my first apex mobile video back when there was just a rumor for apex i wanted to prepare myself ready for when apex mobile dropped having played the pc version since day one i couldn't wait until it came to the mobile platform i was so excited so i covered as much news and as much content as i could and i still stuck with the game through four betas, two closed betas, a soft launch and a global launch. I just feel empty. The passion I had for this game and the love I had for this game was huge. But the name behind it in Respawn and Apex just wasn't enough to make this game good on mobile or Thrive. You guys know me as a creator. I'm fully honest. I tried so hard working with the developers. I tried so hard relaying all of the community feedback and tried advising them to make changes to the game that would help it grow and help it succeed in the long run. I sent freaking reports over to the team. I sent long feedback lists. I sent so many comments and everything to the team. And long story short, they just didn't want to listen. Honestly, all I'm feeling now is that they brought Apex to the mobile market just for a cash grab. I mean, if you think about it, right? The main thing we were complaining about is there wasn't enough updates in the game and all they were bringing out is skins and bundles and stuff that they can boost purchases and boost revenue with. So I honestly feel like they had some sort of roadmap where they thought, yep, yeah, we'll bring the game out globally. We'll make as much money from the game as we can. As soon as it becomes unprofitable, we're closing it. And that took nine months. And the funny thing is, if they actually listen to us and actually listen to the community, this game would be huge right now. So firstly, let me talk about the good things that Apex actually did for mobile. The content they gave us was great. There was a lot of it, but it was good content. The updates they brought us, like new legends like Fade, Rhapsody, all of those things and updates to the map, new POIs and stuff like that, they're great. They, they're, they're what keep the community engaged with the game and keeps players actually playing it and engaged within it. But that's pretty much the only good thing they've done. Now, I want to go over everything that they did wrong with Apex. Comment below if you agree with me, but the first thing they messed up on is they took way too long to release the game. Now, 18 months before global launch, they brought out their first closed beta. The beta was amazing. Everyone was hyped. Yeah, it was only 30 FPS, but it was an incredible experience on mobile. It was something new that the mobile market had never experienced before. The only other battle royales we had was like PUBG, COD Mobile, but they were getting a bit stale. Now, following that closed beta, they brought out another closed beta, which had 60 FPS. There was a lot more improvements. The game looked amazing and it was fun to play. But then after that, they should have brought out the soft launch. What they did was they brought out another two betas, which stretched to a year so that's four closed betas within a year. Already people have experienced the game. They've enjoyed the game. And then they brought out the soft launch. Now the soft launch was great. It felt optimized. A lot of people could play it. But the soft launch also lasted six months until we come to the global launch, which was in May 17th, 2022. Now when the global launch released, every mobile player, every single content creator was making content on the game. Every server was merged so all of the players could play together from across the world. You had EU, NA, LATAM, Southeast Asia, all of those regions locked in together playing against each other. But that come with the negatives as well because that caused very high ping, which was one of the reasons why they lost a lot of players. Now, on top of that, we had a ton of bugs and glitches from the betas that they were supposed to fix ready for global launch. But invisible caustic barrels, you had octane pads that never worked. And on top of that, the optimization for the game being a such a big battle royale, World's Edge and King's Canyon, such huge maps with so many assets. Most of the mobile market are playing on low to mid end devices. I was playing on high end devices and the game wasn't even optimized for me so for the team to think that the game was good for 
loads of mid-end devices and that would actually keep players engaged they were wrong and every season they promised more optimizations for more devices but that never happened most players were struggling to even get 10 fps on the game and that essentially drove people off the game now aside from the optimization the marketing and the community support now i don't want to hate on the apex team too much because i know a lot of them i've become friends with some of them as well but the community support just was not there there were so many questions left unanswered most of the social media accounts were just posting random clips of skin bundles and random pictures and there was no real feeling of a community support and what i mean by that is if you take a look at warzone mobile rainbow six mobile they're even replying to people's tweets they're even joking around with the community there was zero of that with apex mobile and then on top of that their marketing was probably some of the worst marketing i've ever seen for a game ever instead of working with people that actually played the game and enjoyed the game and knew about the game they started posting random tiktok it was just really weird ads that they did they showed like random people holding up pictures of phones and it was just such a weird way to promote a battle royale game for an fps genre that you're trying to target so granted i think they actually did learn from that that's one good thing they did they started sponsoring creators like myself other creators ken kaislo ic iStream, even creators from other games like ferg noah bobby but the thing is you can market a game as much as you want if the game is broken and it's unplayable for most devices, who's going to want to play it? Who's going to want to download the game, play it with their friends? And who's going to want to make in-game purchases to boost your revenue? It was just such a weird way to market Apex Mobile. Now, what they could have done is they could have marketed it through Apex PC and console. They could have worked with creators there to partner with mobile creators. They could have they could have paid them to make videos to promote the mobile market more to get some of the PC and console guys to try out mobile too. So when they finally, again, started sponsoring creators like me and other apex mobile creators it was good but it was kind of pointless because it wasn't really reaching out to a new market it was just promoting it to an already built community that was already there there was no ads going out to new people to invite them and interest them into the game and even if there was the game was broken so people didn't want to play it anyway now another thing they did wrong was too much content they had battle royale third person first person they had multiplayer they had arenas they had about 10 different game modes to try and that resulted in long queue times for players making people even less interested in playing the game because it takes so long to actually find the game and enjoy and play the game. And then we need to talk about the in-game cosmetics and items. Now this is what makes me think like it's kind of a cash grab because nine months into Apex Mobile, there is already thousands of legend skins thousands of weapon skins hundreds of dive trails weapon charms now what interests players into buying a new item or a cosmetic is they want to feel good and they want to show off those sort of skins to their friends and stuff but with so many skins in the game people just aren't going to care and then with that the prices of the skins were just insane like yeah for me and some other content creators they send us some you know some grants each month to show off the skins to you guys to get them to promote it more but let's talk about fades heirloom for instance to max out fades heirloom it costs over $500. Who in their right mind would pay that for a game that's already on a downtrend and isn't that appealing for other players? Recently, I spent $200 of my own money for this Octane skin. And for them to, you know, just tweet out of nowhere that, oh, all of a sudden they are just closing down the game and shutting down the game is kind of crazy. They just recently announced a Lunar New Year's event with a pack that cost 2,100 Syndicate Gold for this Octane. Now, you can guarantee a lot of people bought that, as well as the Season 3.5 Battle Pass as well so unfortunately yeah there's an end user agreement which means that we cannot get that money back but we bought those skins with the intentions to use those skins and let's say you just bought the lunar new year one last week that octane you only get to use them now for the next three months and let's talk about that as well may the first the game is closing down now what the hell do us content creators do what the hell do us players do why, why would we play a game now for three months knowing that it's just going to be deleted and everything's going to be forgotten i know this is definitely not going to happen but the least they could have done is refunded some of that money back to the players that have actually loved and enjoyed the game it's genuinely so upsetting that it's coming to an end it had so much promise but again it just shows that the branding and the name behind apex and respawn is not enough the quality of the game needs to be better we'll always remember apex legends mobile now for a game that didn't listen to its community yeah we've built some amazing memories in the game that we'll cherish in the mobile community but i just feel empty and sort of lost right now now being a youtuber for a game that i've done content on for three years i put my heart and soul 
soul. I put everything into making content on Apex. I built such a strong community. I don't like to think of it as, you know, I haven't made some sort of growth from this game. You guys have supported and gave me some amazing memories on this game. But don't worry about me. I'm 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 on this journey on YouTube. I love it. It's a passion for me. I'm going to continue to make content. I feel more sorry for you guys that have followed me on a game that, you know, I've hyped so much and give so much support to and all of a sudden it's gone honestly i don't like to hate on the apex mobile team they have supported me and they have done you know some sponsors with me and they've they've always helped me if i have any problems and i'll be honest like i said the updates to the game were good you know like the encore galore and the stadium and like adding sort of really cool things in the game to keep us engaged were good but they were only good for about a week i've had literally the toughest youtube journey going apex mobile was supposed to be this massive game for me personally it was supposed to provide so much more and not only for me for these other content creators that have been grafting and grinding every day as well so i'm probably going to take a few days off just to recoup and regenerate and see exactly what i want to do with you know this setback this isn't the end of me though guys i'm sticking to youtube i'm so passionate about the mobile space and just making videos and really you know providing you guys with good content funny content and i love the community that i've actually built so far so i hope you can all stick with me the future of this channel now i've been kind of thinking about it and i've worked with games like rainbow six mobile and warzone mobile and you know apex being a battle royale warzone mobile is looking kind of juicy right now i've already met the team they're fantastic they're doing a lot more than what apex has done over the past three years and i'm excited to test it out mobile but legends it was fun while it lasted i'll probably make a few more videos on the game just to create some memories and, you know, create some videos that we can remember in years from now. I honestly wish I could refund you all myself because I know a lot of you guys are moaning about the money that you've invested into the game. I really wish that I could personally refund you and give you back what sort of, you know, money you feel like you've wasted on the game, including myself as well. But this isn't the end, like I said. I'm going to be back. I'm going to be doing a lot of content. I love you all and I hope you can continue to support me on this journey I'm on on YouTube. So, fucking sad, man. It's actually sad. Um... Yeah, peace out.